Thomas puts the brakes on. It was a busy time on the island of Sodor. The Sodor River bridge was being rebuilt. Thomas had been chosen to help the builders. He was very busy and very proud. Thomas was at the yards. He was excited. This is the last delivery. Then the bridge will be finished. Thomas, you must be careful with these blocks. They were made especially for the bridge. There are no more like them anywhere. Yes, sir. And Thomas chuffed carefully out of the yard. Thomas had to stop at a signal, but when he applied his brakes, he heard a squeaking sound. Thomas was worried. Stanley was there. He was taking builders to the bridge. Hello, Thomas. Your brakes don't sound good. Shall I take your load for you? No, thank you. I don't need any help. And Thomas chuffed quickly away. Next, Thomas saw Emily. Slow down, Thomas. There's a sharp bend ahead. Thomas applied his brakes. The squeak was much louder, and his brakes wouldn't work properly. He raced round the bend much too fast. Thomas's wheels hit a bump in the track. Some of the special blocks bounced off his flatbed. But Thomas didn't know. He was worried about his squeaking brakes. I know, he thought. I'll puff more slowly. Thomas arrived at the top of a steep hill. As he went downhill, Thomas started to roll faster. Thomas applied his brakes, but they still weren't working properly, and the squeak was even louder. Gordon was puffing up the hill. Slow down, Thomas. But Thomas couldn't slow down. He raced into an emergency siding and he hit the buffers with a big bump. More of the special blocks bounced off his flatbed down a steep bank. Now there was only one stack left. But Thomas still didn't notice. He was still worried about his squeaking brakes. Thomas set off once more, very slowly, for the bridge.